Welcome back to Juice Up. We have a special guest in the studio right now, and you're probably sitting there just going, oh, I know what, I know who that guy is. That is Mr. Nathan King, the former lead singer of Z, and you've sort of just gone off. You're off on your solo path now. That's well, welcome thing. to the show. This is your first time on Juiced Up. So. Thank you, thank you. So thanks yeah. for coming in and having a chat to us. We're going to chill out for a bit. We're going to talk about your new single, which was released last week. Yep, brand new. And uh, you're actually going to get to see it in about probably about five and a half seconds. And then uh, we're going to talk about a new album, which is meant to be coming out in about a month, if my sources are correct. Which That's you're yeah. my source. And uh, it's got to be right there. Talk about a few other things. Anyway, what are you going to do since then, man? <laughs> <laughs> we're <on> rant. <laughs> I have. Um, I've been in London actually for the last like two years, which has been. A real hope now and a, a really amazing time. So, um, just immersed myself in the culture and the music over there, and um, started playing a whole bunch of shows while I was over there, just as a solo artist. And it kind of helped me, yeah, figure out what I wanted to sound like and, and where my music was kind of going, I suppose. And I, so it was shaped a little bit by just the, the English kind of vibe. So, yeah, it was a good time. Do you enjoy it more playing as a solo artist or playing in a band, or is there oh. many differences? Um, well, I'm playing with a band, as in yeah. there's a whole bunch of guys on stage with me, but. Um, I don't know, yeah, there's something really cool about being in a, in a tight little unit as a, as a band, um, and, and Zeb was definitely that, and it was a lot of fun, so yeah, but both have got their merits. Yep, so now you're just off there flying solo. Um, sweet, so uh, solo music, do you write all your own music? Uh-huh, uh -huh. yep. And yep. Um, how, do you, how do you write your music? Do you sit down in the studio and do it, or do you go away and chill out by the beach and like, eat some sand and I wish I, inspiration? <laughs> eat some sand. I wish I could actually, like, not eat sand, but I wish I could just kind of like write at the beach, but I always find it's like, Better to be in a quieter room with no distraction. Otherwise, I'd just be off jumping in the water or something. So yeah, and I, it's just me, guitar, and and I just start trying to make weird sounds. Yeah. And and then this is a tip for everyone who's trying to write a song: just get a guitar, strum a chord, make a, a weird sound, and then start evolving it from there. Like go to another weird sound, and it'll a song will arrive. So all the weird Guaranteed. songs. So all the weird sounds just make one good song. Basically, that's, anyway, just, that's yeah. pretty much, I think that's actually how all uh, songwriters do it. Mm -hmm. That's what I read, anyway. Yep. Yeah, so you're a genius. Uh, cool, so you write your songs. Do you actually um, write about real things? Like, is it cool? Is it better to write about something that's actually happened to you or about an experience in your life rather than writing uh, about like, I generally don't. I, I find things come out a bit cheesy if they're like direct references or something, but. Yeah. I think like the, the things that happen in your life kind of nudge you towards maybe a certain topic in a song or, or so you know you might be heartbroken so you write a bit of a, a down song it might be about you put yourself in someone else's shoes but it might not be exactly about your own heartbreak I don't know yeah that's for me how it all works and then, um, there are other occasions where like a song pops out and it's uh, it is quite a I don't know a song about something I'm passionate about like you know helping people in the third world or something you might go right I'm gonna try and write something that doesn't sound cliche that will inspire people to, to get involved. Yeah. You know, it's cool. it's pretty yeah. interesting. It's mm. good. Sweet, so what's next on the plan for you? Okay, so um, apart from the album coming out, which is a very big deal, the 22nd crowd. of, you got it now, yeah. 22nd of September, so it's not far away, everyone needs to go and get that album. Uh, yeah, that's true. I've got to promote, just I'm going to promote myself. Yeah. Well, I'll promote you, because then, you know, I'll get my hands on it. If you give me a copy, then I can listen to it in my car, then I can tell people that I like it. But if you don't, then I'll be like, man, that album, right. good. So no, I never got it. It's, wor it's worth giving you a copy then? It is. Probably, yeah, yeah. okay, I'll do that. Cool, done, um, deal. But then, like, uh, in the next few days, actually, before the album comes out, I'm heading to India uh, with World Vision, which will be, I'm sure, pretty mind-blowing stuff. So, um, I don't really know what to, what to expect, but we're gonna go visit a bunch of um, projects that they've been working on. It's gonna be interesting, because, um, a bunch of the uh, stuff we'll see will be um, where they're finishing up. So they've been working there for like seven, eight years and um, they've put lots of money, lots of people have been working on it for a long time, sort of getting this area of like a village all kind of self-sustained. Uh, is that a word? Self-sustaining. Self and then uh, we're going to also see some projects that are just beginning, so they'll be like super duper poor people, I guess. And, um, yeah. So I'm hoping there'll be some really good good news stories that I can bring back. That's awesome though, because World Vision does awesome stuff. I remember at school we used to do yeah. um, the 40 hour famine. famine. That's the one. Yeah, man. And, um, I did it again for the first time in years last, like this this year. Yeah. It was very hard. Yeah. Man, well, I, when I was a kid, I just used to run around, eat barley sugars, and yeah, it was yeah. no problem. We used to have like sleepovers at school in the hall and stuff, so they used to like hook it up with barley sugars and like just juice and stuff. Chaos. It was always a sweet, sweet time. <laughs> sweet. Well, I want to thank you for coming on the show. I'm sure I'll see you again Thanks, when bro. your album gets released. Thanks, so, uh, me. Good luck and yeah. have fun in India. And the crowd comes out in about, in roughly a month's time. Yeah. Yep, the crowd will be out in a month's time.